Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So what's good morning in Swedish? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I think it's like that. Also, it's not morning because it's like 20 past 11. No. Um, okay, cool. So we're going to do two videos this morning. So yes. let's let's do the first one. Party. Party. I like to party. <laughs> The after party. Melody Festival and the after OG party. OG. It's OJ. You can't OG. Say OG. I always say it in German. OG. Oh, yeah, I thought it was OG, but then someone, I think it is OG. Anyway, OG Sweden, they who did the pre party yesterday, did the after party today, um, last night. Yeah, last, last night. night was. Um, so, first of all, I thought we weren't, I thought we were going to miss some of the acts because what time did we arrive? We went there at quarter past 12 and it started with the act exactly 20 past 12 exactly we literally gave our jackets and it was full the room was full because then when we we're at the train station and they cancelled the train i said to you that yams already performed and you're going to miss alessandra and you start crying yeah <laughs> <laughs> but we <didn't. laughs> um so basically yes yeah, so we got there and then so the performances um they started off with clara She was amazing. Yes, she was awesome. She sang one song that I have no idea what song is this because I really How? She done her three Melody Festival songs. Yeah, but the one I don't know. You, you which know one? The me. first one? Yes. The da, 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 nobody, no, no. This I don't know. No. But did you know her second one? The second one I knew you and the third one of course I knew. Broken hearts. Yeah. I didn't really like that song, but hearing her sing that last You said night, that last night. You said to me like, I really didn't like that song. You I said, didn't like it. But last night, I really, really liked it. Yes. A couple of things on her. A, she's absolutely beautiful. M way more beautiful than on TV. Like uh, yesterday, I was watching her. I was thinking like, yeah. how hot she looks. Super, super hot. And she was so uh, friendly. She said like, hi. And the, the, when, when she leaves from stage, she even sta stayed at the stairs. And then the microphone was still there. And she was like, I'll see you again. I'm very excited. I love you all and stuff. And I was thinking like, oh, I hope I see you next year. Like... We, uh, we were going in, and I did say to you before we went in, I was quite tired because we partied quite hard Friday night. And so I did need Clara to wake me up. Yeah, that was nice that she opened it. And I couldn't But I, I, we must say that yesterday, it took way too long between the gaps of the next performer. And we were actually thinking, is actually Jan and Alessandra coming? Yeah, what time did Jan come on? Like three o'clock in the morning? Yes, three o'clock. And mm. on Friday, it was like one after the other. It yeah, was, no. look, it was Blanca, it was... I think there were some problems, there were some problems. I think either people hadn't arrived yet because there were a lot of gaps. Yeah, there were a lot of gaps and they had also the drag show and stuff. But we'll talk about We'll talk that. about the drag show later. Um, and then um, Alessandra. Yes. She, so she did it twice She end. sang twice the song. And I love the moment that she took out the microphone. The thing that she hears is like... I love how she speaks English, right? She speaks so Italian English. Mm -hmm. So like... I'll take this away, yeah? I'll take this away, yeah? <laughs> well, within the first 10 seconds, she took the earpiece out, and I was like, oh, obviously, there's problems with the sound. Yeah. And when she did it for a second time, she took the whole thing off. The whole thing, yeah. But, like, for me, the one thing that I absolutely love, well, first of all, let's just make it very, very clear, because there were reservations, because at MGP, they had auto sound. Yeah, that's But true. I, everyone was saying, it doesn't matter. She's a professional op. Well, she's trained opera singer. Yeah. Um, so vocally, she'll be fine live. And last night, she was fine. She was fine, both But times. When she did her first whistle note, she looked at someone in the audience, but I couldn't see who she looked at. And whoever it was must have gone, ah! because she stopped the whistle note and started laughing. She laughed, yeah. <laughs> she started, when I recorded the video, I was recording the video, and then I saw from my camera that she actually laughed. Yeah. And I was thinking like, oh my God. Because like, she laughed, and then me. she just pointed at someone, she's like... <laughs> So someone must have just gone crazy for the whistle note. That's very true. Um, and then... She's absolutely my favorite. I just want to say she's absolutely... She's my number one right now after after last night. Had, so she was... So you came to me after the first one and you're like, oh my God, she's my number two. Yeah. And then like near the end of the night we were just dancing, you came up to me like, she's my number one. Again, yeah. She went just as my number one again. I, I am obsessed with her. I am obsessed with her. She's a star. She's a star. She's young and she shows so much confidence. Mm, she's, yeah, she's only 20, isn't she? She's, she yeah, Vince was telling me. She was, he was next to me and said, like, she's my age. She's my age. And then I was thinking like, I <laughs> she feel does old. a great impression of I Vince. feel old. Don't say that again. I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> um, I couldn't fault that. That was amazing. It was amazing, and she sang it twice, and people were screaming. 
bearing in mind she was the only one last night that's going to Eurovision 2023. So we saw three on Friday. We saw her. She's evidently out before the best, that's, yeah. hands down. Yeah. Vocally and performs and... She knew what the crowd wanted. Yeah. But also, pardon me, um, she... Um, but the crowd were going crazy, so she was feeding off the crowd. It was it was busy last night compared to Friday. It was very busy, especially at the beginning, the second room. They were going there, they were coming back, they were going there. We also, ne- I don't want to sound horrible, but Clara really warmed up the crowd for her. Yeah. Because <laughs> it was Clara and then her. Yeah, but there was a gap, and yeah. I like that the, this gap was there because of the songs yeah. of Clara and Alessandra. They are like... But she was just, a, I know, I know, we were talking about that before, the similarities of some of the songs. Um, but she was just a big ball of energy, and she was just excited. Yeah, she was excited, and that's what I love about her. She, she didn't seem born, born, born. She born. She didn't seem bored, huh. and she seemed like she came for it because she wanted it. Not because her management team said, like, you have to go there mm. because of... You know, contractual obligations. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, then there was a chuffing huge gap. We must have had the drag show. Yeah. Which, FYI, I need. I did do the video of the drag queen doing the sugar. Moldova. <laughs> yeah. She did it so good. That was... even she did, she did even the choreography, <laughs> right? Then Paco at that moment was saying, can you do that choreography? <laughs> it's like, she does it better. I would say up until that point, I wasn't sure whether Paco was going to go home. And then that drag queen came on and did Sugar, Natalia Gordienko. And suddenly out of nowhere, he was alive. Yeah, he loved it. I loved it too. She was awesome. <laughs> it was the show that I didn't realise I needed. But the problem was, what? it was three drag queens. A lot of it was Melody Festival, but a lot of the words were in Swedish. Many. So yeah. they lost a lot of people. That's very true. They did a lot of in Swedish. Yeah, anyway. Well, it's, we're in Sweden, so we can't fault them for that. That's, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've got that video. I'm going to post it in different places because it was amazing. She was very talented, the one. I didn't think that as a video. Oh, I did. That's good. Because <laughs> I was just like, what am I watching? This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, oh, and then we went um, Malta. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a lot. Yeah. Like Kurt. Kurt. I know him from what, 2012. Personally? No, friends. From, <laughs> I know him. From 2012, but I just... What's the it song took, called? It took way What's too long. Called? I don't remember. <laughs> but it took way too long until he comes to sing the song. He sang so many others, and I felt a bit like I'm at his concert. Well, that well, yeah. Yes. Because, bless Kurt. He's... Well, it was not his concert. And, well, no, I know that. But I've been to other um, kind of Eurovision parties before where these artists come... And yeah, it's a fine line. And actually, I know it sounds so horrible, and I know Kurt's very talented, I know there'll be fans of Kurt, but basically he did three of his own songs, then, this is the night. Now, I've gone to places whereby artists are known in their country and have their own music, but they decide to have a four song set and they do covers of other Eurovision songs. But he didn't And then their song, no. He sang his own songs. Which I always think is probably not the best at a Eurovision party. No, and it was a bit, for me, it was also a bit boring, those <laughs> they were They were actually quite good. The slow one, the one where he won the festival last year, and he got the whole, that went on for ages. The crowd involvement. Yeah. And at one point, what did he say? It was like, no one was responding because he was getting different groups to chant. And at one point he was like, and Eurovision fans! And that's when Paco started wetting himself. I was like, well, that's desperate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now let's hear him. Let, uh, he was basically go, doing a part of his song and he was getting the crowd to repeat it. And there wasn't much about it. He, he was like, and the Eurovision fans! I was like, he, we're all Eurovision fans. <laughs> anyway... I, I, I don't want to say anything horrible about Kurt or Malta, um, because, yeah, there was a lot of Malta last night. And then, Claudia, I left the Also room. from uh, Malta. Yeah, right? from Malta. Yeah. 2017. That didn't qualify. Day. Where did I go? Because I went to, to the toilet, <laughs> then I went outside for a bit. So that's must be when we went outside. Yes, and I think there, at that moment, I saw Luke Black there at the door, where I took pictures with. And I came to all of you and I said, like, he's just chilling there. And then Paco... Hold on a minute. Number one, you completely forgotten that story. We were going outside for some fresh air. And I said, look around there if you want a picture with Luke Black. I pointed him out to you. you. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it happened like this. It did. And then you, like, 
a cool person was like, oh my goodness. And then and right I went up, there, yeah, yeah. And I took a picture. And then I showed it to Paco and Paco said like, I want to take a picture too. And then he went too. But yeah. we missed, that's why we missed her a bit. Um, but anyway, I came back though. And I uh, we came back through Breathlessly. Her vocals are amazing. Yes. And then she finished, because I forget her brother is uh, yeah, she's singing about jiggy her bro- from, yeah. he's done Eurovision and he was in the national final this year and she did his Another Summer Night Somebody. You're too young. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, she performed that song and I was like, you go, girl. Anyway, that's all we she really have beautiful. to say. Yeah, she looked beautiful. She did Malta very proud. And then, um, and then, well, he well, must have been like three in the morning. Like, when did Philip Ballos come on? Yeah, Philip was after her, but there was again this big gap. I thought I'd forgotten that Philip and Yam were were on the. the, I, the we actually thought that they are not coming. Well, that's what I thought all the gaps were about in regards to they just didn't make it. Yeah, exactly. And you and Paco told me like we probably don't see them, but then they came. I mm. mean, Philip sang his. He did three two, songs. Two or three. Th- he, well, he did two plus his song this year. Yeah, and actually they were quite good quality. And actually, people went really crazy over him when he sang his Serbian song from this year. Yeah, bless Everybody him. was dancing to it. And when I... Ugh, I was critical to a point with Luke Black on the Friday night, i.e. having no energy because he looked very tired and he said he was tired. Well, you couldn't say that about Philip. The no. Kind of, the, 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 he, did he wasn't really going the through whole... the motions, but he was doing yes, the choreography. And he was wearing the same outfit. He was wearing the glasses. He was wearing everything. He was like, he came ready from Serbia for this. And also, I'm kind of a little bit in love with him because the drag queen and him, they had... One of the good times a drag queen talked because yeah. she wasn't the best drag queen. No offense, um, but yeah, some of the she said to him when he finished. Did you hear that? What? He took the microphone. He wanted to put it at the side on the side, and the drag queen said to him something like, "Well, I could take it. That's my job." <laughs> and then he said like, "You're a queen. I take it for you." Oh. And, then, and then she said like, "Well, thank you, but that's my job." <laughs> and, then, and then he was like, "You're a queen." <laughs> yeah, I, like, I remember how, him saying that. How uh, how is he like? How quickly he he's dealing with that? Mm. Like in a good way. Quick, um, but um, no, because he's because I remember him saying that he's got a large collection of vintage Disney toys. It's like really. I didn't yeah. hear that. <laughs> Um, anyway, let's not talk about because we'll talk about kind of highlights of the evening. Let's not talk about anything more out of the stage in regards to Philip. But on the stage, actually going through those performances. Obviously, well, he was, he was better than Luke Black, but that's unfair. He sang better. He made the crowd even more Every warm. time I hear his song, I like it more and more and more. I love the song. He was also one of my winners. When that, I went there to take a picture with them, I even told him, like, I told him, like, you, you are my number one also. Like, I really wanted you to win um, with Jaina. That, I think that's Slavandic's favorite. Is it her favorite song? I know she bums that song. She really likes it, right? She loves that song. No. Yes, she does. Laura li- uh, liked way more Prince, I think. She liked Philip, but also Prince. Oh. Oh, I don't remember that. That's one that... um, okay, and then... Right, should we talk about Jan's performance and then go into Jan? Yes. Okay. Jan. Jan. I love Jan. Oh, my goodness. First of all, the outfit. Oh, Yeah. On point. On point, fitting him. He's so tall. I did I not expect that he's actually so tall. And he sang, uh, wait, he sang... He sang three two, songs. Three songs, two of his own, mm-hmm. and then Gladiator two times. Because oh, yeah. people were screaming again, 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 again. Yeah. And then he sang it again. With but exactly the same energy. Exactly. And he leaves he, everything on stage. He went... He laid on the stage. He stood up. He did sexy stuff. He did sexy stuff. No, really, he did sexy stuff with this uh, waist and his six pack here, which he mm. was showing off. Mm. And the crowd was crazy because it was a bit less people. Well, but, but the, no, 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 they were that's so the loud. Where because there were two rooms. Where for Philip, I think not everyone came into the main room. But when Jan came yes. on, the Everyone whole of the, the club other, yeah. came in yeah. to see Jan. And it was amazing. And it was like really late as well. Yeah. It was at least three o'clock. It was three o'clock. And on Friday it ended at three o'clock. Last night it didn't. We left at four and it was still going on. So for me, in the, watching those three things, um, 
obviously I've been very, very clear, kind of in the sense of before the national final, loved Blanca, was happy with Blanca's win. Everyone else had done research around Jan. Even you said you watched interviews and you felt that he was a he was a Sweet lovely, heart. lovely person. I didn't do any of that. So I watched the music video and I saw the live performance. And outside of that, I didn't know anything else. Yeah. How many times when I was watching, I don't know, because you were recording a lot of it, did I turn around and just go... Yeah. <laughs> because, honestly, performance aside, watching this young person Do on stage yeah. for 15 minutes be his authentic self... And I had, I had goosebumps all the time. And I, like, obviously, I don't want to bring in politics or anything in regards to the situation in Poland, LGBT rights, blah, 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 I blah. blah. Them. Well, I know not to bring that up because some people do these blanket statements about Poland being homophobic and not accepting. Yeah. That's not true. Going to Warsaw in the... Going to Warsaw in the... Hold on a minute. What politicians say and what Polish people believe and think, yes, obviously, in Poland, there are a significant group of people that are very conservative and have conservative values and that impacts their opinion and views on LGBT people. But I do feel being in Poland must be quite tiring if you accept LGBTQ and you celebrate it and you're an ally yeah. to keep hearing that about your country. Honestly, when I went to Warsaw, there are gay clubs in Warsaw. Yeah. I'm not saying people are holding hands in Warsaw, but I was speaking to young people, gay, straight, bi, whatever walk of life, and they didn't care. Yeah. So that's number one. So I try not to make blanket statements. But ultimately, you've got this young boy who's in Poland living in Poland, his ascetics, his personality is against conservative traditional. Yes. And he has not changed in the slightest. No, no. He is this young boy who's proud of himself. And I really, I felt like a protective father in the sense of I was watching him and I was like, don't lose this. Yes. Don't let the world change yeah. you. Just do you. Because you... that's why that's why I was at this moment when he was singing uh, th throughout his singing and when he ended it, and I heard how people were like, "Yeah, again, again, yeah," and he was like, he was having this smile, but also like, "Really, you want again?" Like you saw you saw on his face that you really want it again, and I was like thinking like, "Yes, until the morning, I want <laughs> yes again and again and again and again." <laughs> Um, but then that's what, when we met him afterwards, well, we'll come back to that. That's what he was saying. He was just overwhelmed with how much love and support he yes. has got since, obviously, the drama. About the that, he was there on the side. Mm -hmm. And I went to the toilet. I was coming back and I went there to talk to him and to take pictures. And then I came to you and Paco and I said, like, look at this. Well, you and just you all... came up to me and you just showed me a picture of you and him. And I was like, where is he? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Paco was like, where, where, where? And then I showed you there and then we went to take pictures of him. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about that, can we? Yes. Okay. I don't know what you talked with him. Just let, let's finish with the performance. Okay, yeah. So, absolutely amazing. Yes. And Way better live from the national final. He was very good live. But the one thing I will say, which started to make sense a little bit, you know in the national final when some people said, like he kind of laughed at one point, like he yeah. came out of it. Yeah. Well, watching him, I think he just gets so overexcited. Exactly. Because yeah. he was smiling. I think, All of that, yeah. And I think that that kind of moment in the national final, I think it's just him. I just think he gets very excited. And in the, yeah, in the national final, they didn't get him. I think, mm. when he got judged for that. But yeah. it's fitting to the song. Mm. But also, the last thing in regards to what's relevant for performance, and then we'll talk about meeting him, was um, when Luke Black and Philip watched the whole thing, and Luke Black was, was recording it. Was taking video of him, and I was like... And they didn't do it for anyone else. No. So yeah, Luke Black and Philip was in the dance floor with us, we'll talk about that later. Um, and it was sweet to see. Yeah, that he was taking a video of him and yeah. he was like, he actually also sang the song. Because yeah. I also took a video. And Luke Black was singing this Gladiator, so we knew the song. And I was thinking like, first of all, this proves that Jan is amazing. And mm. second of all, how sweet of uh, Luke Black being like this. Like, you know what? I love this. I'm recording it. I'm yeah. not pretending like, oh, I have whatever. Exactly. 
Yeah, very, very, very good. Was it very, very fine? It was very, very, very good. <laughs> Being with Georgie for the last kind of 48 hours, that's the phrase you use for everything. So if I say, does my hair look okay? You're like, it's very <laughs> fine. I'm like, well, you say that for everything. Um, so uh, use some other vocabulary. My coffee right now is very, very fine. Very, it could be better, but it's very, very fine. Very, very fine. Um, okay, so then we met Jan. Well, you met him first and mm. your interaction with Jan. When I went to him, there were not so many people. When I took you there, there, there was a queue of people waiting. Well, embarrassingly, because you took me straight to the front and then I looked behind and there, and there was a queue and I was like, Georgie, nobody, there is a queue. And, and you were like, no. I was like, no, I'm British. We queue. <laughs> but nobody told me anything. I was thinking like, no. Did you push him before then? You what? must have done. Yeah, I did. But I didn't know that people are waiting for this. I thought they are, it's his team. To be honest, that's when you know you're in a Eurovision party with people that probably are LGBTQ because no one kicked off. Everyone just accepted we pushed in. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> anyway, carry on. You talk about your experience. So yeah. I went to him. There were not many people. I said first to him, like, can we take a picture? He said, like, of course, if you want. And for, even from him saying, if you want, I was like, oh, my God, I need yes. to talk to you a bit more. And then I told him, like, I know... You probably know what's happening in Poland, all this... Uh, oh, you did bring that up? Uh, yeah, I said to him, like, all this happening in Poland, you know about Blanca, you know about yourself, what people are writing, what is happening, well, but I just... Anyway, I told him, like, I just want to tell you, like, you are a star, and I don't want you ever to stop doing what you do. And then he did that. He took my hand, and he said to me, like, feel this. And then he put it on his heart, and his heart was, like, beating very fast. He said, like... You have no idea what this means to me, not only from you, but in general being here. He said, like, I am excited. I am, mm. I am, I am like, overwhelmed and I, I have a beating heart because I'm, like, standing here and I'm getting all those compliments. I don't, I don't know what to do with that. Mm. And then I said, like, just exactly what you do is the best thing that you do. And I said to him, like, please, please, please don't start doing what you do. And then he was like you have no idea what this means to me. And I said, like, no, you have no idea what you mean to me. And I was telling him, like, he was, like, back com- complimenting, and I was, like, complimenting him back. And I said, like, don't say anything nice for me. You are the best. Like, you are right now here. He's... On that note, because you've still got stuff to say about that, I don't know if you remember, you told me everything yesterday and you've missed some stuff out. Yeah. Um, uh, one thing I would say, watching everyone <laughs> go to him, you know, it, like, for example, Luke Black. Yeah. Seeing everyone go to Luke Black and asking for pictures, he had a very kind of... Because he must get it a lot, and it must be quite tiring, so he had a kind of um, a clear response each time. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Every time someone told Jan he was amazing, he listened and he reacted differently. He actually exactly. listened and he actually cared. Yeah. I'm not saying Luke Black didn't care. He cared. He <laughs> for sure cared. But Luke Black, probably because he had it on Friday, he had it on Saturday, yeah. he was probably a bit done mm. and he was like okay let's take a picture don't it meant so something much. to Jan like, so, it meant know? something to Jan yeah yeah so and Luke Black is gonna have it like throughout until yeah. May and Jan is this is his moment yeah. right now and he's um what did I tell you also what did I say well, I don't know because sometimes you I lie said, so I don't no, want to say I it said, now. I said about the channel I said you? to him uh all this I said BS happening with the Polish channel mm. and and then I said like was unfair to you I said something like this I was also a bit drunk I said like it was unfair to you and then he said like I I don't want to so much go on this but I also agree he said somehow you know something like this mm. and they said like you have a massive amount of people standing for you but he, for, kn- he must know for, that he knows but he was like he was all the time knocking like this mm. and he said he was like this like I know I know I know what's happening and stuff and then I said like I just hate the Polish channel I said to him like I hate the channel of Poland for doing that and you deserve to win for me. And then he... But what did he say? He said something very specific at that moment. Well, I know something you told me that you still haven't said. Tell me. But it, it might be different from what you're trying to say now. His view, views on Blanca. His views on... But what was it? I don't remember. You said that he likes the song. It's the sort yes, of music he yes, listens yes. to. He said, wait, he said... He said, yes, he likes the song of Blanca, and actually that's the kind of music he listens to. Yeah. He said, like, that's the music that I am listening to. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my God. I've been waiting. You've been talking so much because, crap, but I've been waiting. Because, you get, that was, like, one of the most important things you told me. 
<laughs> you said he likes yeah. Blanca. He listen. That's the kind he of he likes Blanca, and he likes. The, did he say he likes Blanca? He said that's he what you Blanca. told me. He said he as a person, Blanca, likes yes, Blanca. he likes Blanca, and I said he likes the song. And he also said that this is the ge- genre that he also genre li- genre <laughs> that he listens to music. He said like that's also my kind of music. Also, huh. he said that, and um, what was it? But then he said something about Blanca. Be careful what you say. Smash the competition, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For me, you need to understand that this is very, very exciting. This is my first, first going in the wave of this kind of thing. So yeah. I was like picking information from everywhere. It's yesterday. been sweet being with you this weekend. It was like I was picking it's your first Eurovision party thing. Right? thing yes. I mean, I have been to Hamburg, but never like this. Hamburg. Um, for me, have you finished your story now? Yeah. Because I was waiting for you to get to that yeah. point. Um, I thought you'd start with that. Um, okay, so thanks to you, I did go over. Because I didn't take a picture with Luke Black. I was like, oh, okay. No, not because I don't like him. I just didn't feel the need to. But I felt yeah. I needed to get a picture with Jan. Um, and so I went up to... And I didn't really know what to say. And I hadn't really rehearsed it. So I think I just said, tonight you killed it, tonight you made Poland proud. Ah, very sweet of you. Straight to the point. And then it was really awkward. I just saw that he was like this, keeping his hands here when you were talking to him. He was like, like this, like this. And I was like, look at you. But also it was really awkward because that's all I wanted to say. So there was this really awkward moment and I was like, oh, can you turn around for a picture? (laughs) Because you were taking the picture because your camera's good. It was really awkward. I was like, anyway, can you turn around for a picture? It's fine. He was probably also... I remember I hugged him three times. I hugged him when I met him. I hugged him after I said I was proud. And then when I left, I hugged him. And then it was Paco's turn. And then it was what? But I, by that point, I'd gone to the toilet. So what did yeah. I, what did no, Paco, Paco say? also talked with him something? I don't know what. And he took a picture. <laughs> I don't know what Paco said to him. Um, anyway, I think we've uh, we might have to do a separate video for that. For what? For Yan. I think we're going to have to edit that one out, because that was ages. Um, Right, anyway, other things from last night, that's to note. So the first one is, you got a picture with Luke Black. Yes, and with Philip. And with Philip. So from what I could gather, they're either friends or they have the same... I I worked out who the manager was. Because someone came out... And there's a ma- he must manage both of them. Because you know what? When I went to them to take a picture and I said to Philip, like, in English, and I, I was telling him to Philip, like, you were absolutely amazing. I watched the final. You and Jaina were also my number one. I said to Philip, Luke was next to me. And what did and Luke, Luke say? Luke said at that moment, like, yes. You know? Like, oh, well. supportive to his friend. Yes. Like, uh, if I, like, like saying basically, like, if I didn't win, I wanted him to yeah. win. My friend. Yeah, so they, he was very supportive. I was that. watching them. That makes me sound like a stalker. But yeah, they looked like genuine friends. Yeah, they, they are friends. This I already knew. So did you take a fi- picture with Philip? I took. Okay. I have. I have. I have with both of them. <laughs> um, okay. So that was cool. Um, what else is of no? Oh my goodness. They played the UK song. Yeah, finally. And I absolutely lost it. And you, I was losing it. You didn't know. You were like, I know this. No, for the which first one, six seconds, I was like, oh my goodness, I think this is the UK. I think it's the UK. Yeah, yeah. Rather than saying that and it not being the And UK. everybody, everybody screamed when the song started. Like, people finally wanted the song and they played it at half past three. Anyway, when I get overexcited because I can't really dance, I do this thing where I just jump on the spot. Yeah. And I was jumping on the spot. You and moreover, you must have been embarrassed because you're like, I'm going to go and get us a drink. Why in that song did you go and get no, a drink? But I went with Carlos and then we came back, but very quickly because the bar was... But why would you go through the UK song? Because I needed a beer with that song. You could have waited. Instead, I wrote a song. It's fine, I had Paco. We danced. Well, he just watched me jump. (laughs) Um, That was amazing. Ah, you were sweet yesterday when Bulgarian songs came on. Yes. (laughs) Sorry, can we talk about how they played Sofie Marinova non qualifier song and they played it? They did. Sevi Sagapao Poli. And I was singing it, and then was two people, and they, they, they were like, you know the lyrics, because she has a bit Bulgarian, and I was like, I am also Bulgarian, that's my song, and they like, you're probably the only one, and I was like, thank you, yeah, I feel special. What song came on, it must have been Cypress, and you got really excited, because obviously the Greek thing in you, 
And then I pointed over to a group of people that had a Cypriot flag. And then you did this thing, which annoys me because my friend back at home did, when you basically I'm trying to connect in a song and enjoy it. And you're like, screw this. I'm going to go over to them. And you went, and all I could see you do, because they were holding the flag up in the air, is you just grabbed the flag and yeah. held, what yeah. were you doing? Wait, wait, let me tell you. What song was it from all this uh, Cypress? I think, I think it was, was a, I don't know. What it song? was not Ivia Damo. Ivia Damo with La 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 La. Wasn't this would dance alone. But maybe Ferreira. <laughs> Or something. Maybe. And I went to those people, I grabbed the flag with them, and then I started speaking to them in Greek. And then they turned like, I don't understand. And I was like, where are you people from? And they said like, from Spain. I was like, why do you have this Cypriot flag? <laughs> like, I thought I'm coming to my people, and you are not from Cyprus, but like props to them having the Cypriot flag. Yeah. Because like, wow. It's yeah. like me holding the Malta flag yesterday, like why? Mm, anyway, um, and I'm just trying to think of anything else that happened of note. We had this sweet Joseph guy that came. Oh, that, yeah. Because he probably... I finally met a, Well, we met a Swedish person on the train. That actually went with him there. Hmm? He brought us to the party there and we were talking like, now not only we meet finally mm. a Swedish person, but we just walk after him because he'll bring us to the party. But it's true, but it's also really awkward because then on the way when we got off the train and me and him were walking together, he was talking about my channel and saying some nice things. You know, I get really weird and awkward about that. But what made it even worse, did you see him front? He slipped on the ice. He slipped on the ice. <laughs> did you know that I was working with Carlos and uh, Paco behind and I see him slipping because but he, he tra- massively hit himself try, in the car. You do try to go through a lot of ice, the car and the place was this small. He slipped and he actually slipped a I lot. I know, because I had to grab it. And I said to Carlos, I hope he brings us to the club and then he can he, like, <laughs> then he can slay. And then I went the other way around because I was thinking, I'm not going that way. No, it was dangerous. I never saw him again at the party after that. No, nor did I. And he was fabulous. Did you see he had glitter on his he eyes? He had, yeah. Um, no, that's not the same. So he was the first Swedish person I met yeah. this weekend. The second Swedish person was... Joseph. Joseph. That he was came really and he, was, he sweet. pointed at us too. And he said, like, can I say hi? Can I say hi? And I was like, And yeah. to Paco. And to Paco. Yeah. That. Yeah, but he at first pointed at us and I was thinking, like, why is he pointing me? But then he was like, I just wanted to say hi, he said to me. And I said, like, what is your name? He said, like, Joseph. And I said, Georgie. And we met and he went again. He spoke also with Paco. He was really sweet. Very much. He was like, like he, he could sense the whole thing was a bit awkward, because it is. And he was like... It's always awkward. And there was like this, this moment, he was like, and I just want to tell you. I'm walking. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was at the bar, there was this guy from Turkey. I think he said his name was MD. I might have just made that up. And he said, like, he watched my channel and stuff, and he was from Turkey. But it was when we first arrived, and I was not in a good mood. I was really tired. Yeah. And I was just like... And I wasn't a bit... I wasn't nasty about it. You had two but sambukas. But I was like... I was like... When you had the two sambukas, you said, like, you were pointing me the two glasses. You were like, now I'm awake. Well, now it's I'm true. ready. true. Because I was now just there. And you were getting into it. I was like, oh, I need, I need to do something. So I went and got two... I got two sambukas. Yeah. And I was like, I'm fine now. But I met him before, this, this Turkish one. And I was like, oh, what's your name? I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I felt really bad because I just... I was so tired. But I saw him... Uh, when Doom Tech Tech came on, and I was like, right, he's Turkish, I'm going to go back and redo that. And I was like, hey, and he's like, oh, hey. And I was like, oh, it's your song. And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, oh, you're from Turkey. He's like, how do you know? I was like, you told me at the bar. <laughs> you told me at the bar. He was like, what's your name? I was like, Shane. And I, at this point, I was like, if I got the right person? And yeah. he was like, oh, so that's your real name? I was like, well, yeah. Oh, he thought that this is your nickname. Who yeah. Who was that nickname, Shane? I don't... Well, Slavandic isn't her name. No, but who will put Shane as nickname? I don't know. Because Shane is actually a name. Mm. Whatever, I just want to say about this unpolite lady from the toilet oh. that I told you, hate her. Why do you hate her, Georgie? Because I was waiting on the line. It was a huge line on the toilet of men's bathroom. Probably because the women's bathroom was full and you know how women are like... They were both unisex. We're in no, Stockholm. No, it was a lady's bathroom and a man's bathroom. All the time I saw, I saw the dress on the sign. And then I opened the door and she comes in front of me like I couldn't go out. And she said to me like, this lady, she said like, are you going to go out or are you thinking about it? And I said like, if you let me pass, I will go out. And the door was like this and she was standing here. And then she said, like, you're still thinking about it. They said, I want to pass. 
<laughs> and I was like, very loud, I want to pass. Just go outside, you know, go. Wash my hair, so go party. Yeah, we had to deal with that for a few minutes. Obviously, I switched off after the first 10 she seconds. She was awful. She was awful. Um, anyway, karma will get her. Um, have we got anything else to say? I don't think we do. Uh, no, we'll talk about uh, the Melody Festival final in yeah. another video. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you're still here after all of that, I doubt it. No, they will be. <laughs> um, ciao. <laughs>